Greetings, everyone, especially our vice chancellors, Senate of our 220 universities. I'd like to congratulate all of us on the success recorded so far in the development of the 30% addition, institutional addition to the CC bars. Today, March the 14th, 2023. Uh, I'm glad to let you know that we have surpassed the 1 million mark, 1 million programs, you know, submitted by different universities. This is about three quarters of the expected. March 14th. I was expecting that by first week of April, everything should be submitted. So you can see how gallant we are in the Nigerian university system. Indeed, many universities have submitted the total package. Total package will mean you have 60 programs. They have submitted 60 programs. Uh, what's the next step? The next step, of course, is compilation. Hmm? Compilation of what? It's a compilation. You know, we had 70% CC mass already agreed by us all. And then by you, the universities, you now have your 30%. So we now have to compile them, compile them. Now, this can be regarded as the synthesis stage, is step seven of our eight step uh, process. And this is uh, going to be what will appear in the student handbook. So, this is a guide for letting that to happen. So, here we go. So, here we go. As I said, it's just a guide. A guide. To the integration of 30% institutional addition to 70% CC mass. And Peter Okebukola, and today is uh, March the 14th, a wonderful Tuesday, 2023. Now, let's look at the journey so far. The journey so far can be depicted in this, uh, in this figure here. Uh, we had a step one where universities submitted two sample courses, courses. And then when we found that the courses were good, we were on the right track, get, we got on to step two. That's green light to develop the full package for the program. And then step three was reviewed by technical experts. I'd like to thank all of those persons that have been so wonderful, so dutiful, and for free, about 2,000 of them have been offering service, reviewing the submissions for, from step two and then the the, the fourth step is the ten west pass will say okay minor revisions and uh, indicate the minor revisions so the university will then revise and then bring up to the technical team here and they will approve after we have checked line by line what they have done whether they have responded or not to the reviewers suggestions but if the reviewers say oh oh there should be major revision then we take the output from the university back to the reviewers and when they're, when they're through with this it will come to the come for for approval at our end and then step seven which is the step we are in now is a merger integration of the 70 percent which will which will have ccmas and the 30 percent into a whole package program package and the last step is from our guy, Babara Sheep, IES, to approve uh, and then issue the certificates, spreading of issuance there. Of so by today, the 14th of March, we have more than 1,000. We have exceeded the 1,000 mark. I said 1 million, that, that was an error. 1,000 mark in the submission of programs. Let, let, let me show you uh, what the update is. This is where we receive the database of all of those things we are pouring to us, all those programs. The first university to submit, Edo State University, on the second of uh, on the third of February. So you can see the submissions as they kept pouring in, and then today, the fourteenth day of March, uh, you have uh, let's see. Uh, Delta State University, Veritas University, you can see today is the 14th by 647 and 648. So they keep pouring. We have a thousand one and eighty-eight. Aye, very well done, everybody.
I shared this uh, conceptual framework earlier over the weekend. Uh, so let's take the let's take a program, BSc Civil Engineering, and uh, you have a graduate from Edo uh, State University, a graduate of the University of Nigeria Osuka, and a graduate from Great Amadu Bello University. So if you assemble the three of them, you find that they all have 70% in terms of knowledge and skills based on the CCMAS. Now, each of these graduates will be different, unique in a number of respects by the institutional courses, the 30% that the Senate of Edo State University, Senate of UNS, Senate of ABU will have added to it. So you find that these graduates all civil engineers but unique uh younger sister now that takes me to this by way of reminder i know you everybody is familiar with this but just by way of reminder uh because we hear some people say oh this is my junior brother like that or junior sister uh no i'm told though that that is wrong i know i knew that all, all along though. that the better one is the correct one is younger brother or younger sister rather than my junior brother and this word plumber Hey, many of us, including myself, will say plumber. Go and call me the plumber there. No, the be here is silent. Plumber, plumber. That's by way of reminder, plumber. Now, let's look at this step seven that we're in now, which is the integration. The integration can be of two types, maybe more, but only two types, uh, according to me now. Where you have the CC mass, which you already developed, and then the institutional addition, just appending them. That is, take the uh, CC mass contents and then just put the 30% that uh, you got approval for and just put, pile them together. Now, this appending, but this man, this one, I think it's an easy man's thing. But the integrated one is this you take the 100 level contents of CC mass. Then your 30% addition, the 100 level part, you put the thing there. I say I'm clapping. CC mass, 200 level, you put the 30% addition, 200 level. 300 level, 400 level, 500 level, and so on. So this is the integrated mode that I am thinking of that we should adopt. So there are four steps in the, mo in the, in the integrated mode. Uh, you download the CC mass and all that. So let me go on to the steps, a hey, practical. The first one is for you to download the CC mass and the 70% addition for the program. How do you do this? So let's let's see how you do that. So downloading is over. So let's open the file. File is coming up. So this is the engineering program. We want to do civil engineering, BSc civil engineering. So we've got to go to civil engineering. This is uh, chemical engineering, computer engineering, civil engineering. So here we go, civil engineering. So this is the CC mask, which we have downloaded. What's next? What's next is to download the uh, the BSc uh, Civil Engineering, the 30% addition of the university. Uh, so here it is, Edo State University of Zaire, we are using uh, BSc Civil Engineering, so this is the 30%. This is the 30% addition. So here it is, uh, 65 uh, pages. That's what we have here. So that is step one, all done. We're going on now to step two. Step two is using the CC mass as base. That means you're going to get the CC mass and use it as a base document. And they will now have to integrate the contents level by level. This is where the action is. What I've done is to extract civil engineering from the entire engineering CC mass. So here we go. Uh, we want to integrate. So the first thing we'll do is to take the global cost structure 
for BSc civil engineering. Uh, let me do something like this so I can have this on the page. So you have a hundred level GST, basic science, discipline, and all of that. So what you're going to do is to go to the Edo State University uh, cost structure here. So here we have uh, for hundred level. Uh, this is what we have. We can copy this here, but you can integrate it properly in the. Uh, you can integrate it properly. Let, let's take it from here. You integrate it properly somewhere. Let me split this uh, table. Uh, put this one here. Mm -hmm. So this goes off because you see on the level. So you go to expand this table. Uh, I'm going to make this video to be uh, short in terms of time, so uh, I'm not able to now start uh, formatting. So you can see that they are lined like this. Okay, so you put 100 level and then you do the total. Uh, let's go on to 200 level. There's 200 level here. Uh, let me also split and then copy the 200 level from here. Back to this place, you can do a better job of it by making the making the table to be properly aligned. Then uh, you get the total, you do all your sums, you get the correct total, and then you go to 300 level. You can see how easy the integration is rather than the append. Let's split the table from here. We'll go back to 300 level. Uh, you get this one here. You, you will see the beauty of this integration. The beauty of the integration is that, you see, it gives all the GET, GET courses, CEE courses, all the CEE courses, and then the EDSU, CEE. So that's integration. How nice uh, this is. So let's go on the 400 level. Then you do the total, as we said earlier, 400 level. Uh, let's go on to 400 level here. I, I, I like this. Oh, no, no. They, 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 well, I don't know. 400 level, yeah, it's a 500 level course, so that's fine. So you take this because it's not, it's not good to have so many compulsory courses at um, that's 400 level. Take this off and then you merge, do yeah, you merge like this and then put the total where it should be. I should have put that one down here. Then the last one is 500 level, 500 level course. And then what do you have? We're going to 500 level. Uh, take this. Hey, okay, yeah, that's fine. We need quite enough of, uh, we don't want too many compulsory courses, but this is fine. Uh, for the reason that if you make them elective, if, if the student knows that you have to accumulate uh, 150 or whatever the number of courses, uh, ah, then yeah, an elective course can even be a compulsory in terms of uh, the uh, the design. So let's split this table here, and then take this from here, copy this, and then back to uh, 500 level. Am I sure? Yeah, that's 500 level. You put this one here. That's it. So this goes off, and then you align the table. Why is this necessary? This is not well. This is nice because the student in 500 level will see at a glance the courses that he or she will take for that level. And then here comes the exciting part again. So here you have course contents and learning outcomes 100 level. You have this. This is from the CCMAS. As I said, the CCMAS is the base document. So you come on to here, you get on to the end of... Uh, that's chemistry, all of that. So let's get on to the end of that's physics. Yeah, can you, can somebody tell me? <laughs> After you're not seeing me, can somebody tell me? You you can see this. This is wonderful. You know, can you can see what we did in the CCMAS? Look at the course contents. Rich, more than seventeen topics. Very good. You can see this. You can see this. So. At the end of it, let's assume oh, we're at 200 level now. Let's go to 100 level. 
and I'm going to use that as uh, the example for us to take 200, uh, let's see, uh, yeah, so it stops here, it stops here, let, let me put that on another page, so for, two, for 100 level, then you have to go back to the, to here, you know, these are 100 level courses, so you're going to take all the 100 level courses and, uh, Let's keep going. This is all oh, this 200. Okay, fine. Let's go up like this. Up, 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 we go. All right. Yeah, that's it. So up to here. See, yeah, up to here. So that's the 100 level cost content. Beautiful. So that is it. Let's see if we have some. No, so that's 200 level. So you copy this. I'm copying this now. And I'm going to this place here and I'm pasting it. So it's integrated, perfectly integrated. You have the 100 level CC mass courses, the 100 level 30% addition, all in one, all, all in one cluster. They go to 200 level and you do the same. Yeah, that's uh, the integration. So we've done step number two of four. We have used the CC mass as base and we have integrated the contents level by level. The last bit is to put finishing touches to produce the student handbook. So this is the cover that I did for Edo State University Uzairu, Uzairu uh, formerly Edo University Yamo, BSc Civil Engineering uh, student handbook. So if that is the cover, what will be the inner? What will be inside it? <laughs> yeah, you got to have uh, this Department of Civil Engineering, the mission statement of the university. I did ask uh, the chairman, uh, set a committee on 30% of Edo State University, Zaire, to send me this, uh, which he kindly did. So your mission statement of the university, vision statement, principal officers of the university, and of course, being the department where we have civil engineering, so you have the staff of the department here. You know, we're talking about student handbook now. And uh, what else? Hmm? Is that all? No. Inside it, you then have uh, the integrated, integrated. So let's now bring in the integrated. Uh, let me see where it is. The integrated. Uh, yeah, this is the one. You can see BSc Civil Engineering Integrated. Integrated means we have the CC mass, and of course, we have the 30% all embedded in here. So you can see. So let me copy the entire thing here, and then I move up to this uh, BSc Civil Engineering Student Handbook and uh, paste. Mm. So that's it. You can format, uh, ensure that the fonts are the same, and all of that. So when that is done, and I have this integrated, but what else? What else? Of course, you're going to have the cover. So let me move up here and put a cover on it. Uh, let's see how we do that. So uh, let's put a cover here. Wonderful. So this has to go to the next page. Oh, what beautiful. We're getting there. Let me style this better. So this comes here. You can do the page, uh, table of contents, and all of that. So this stays here. So we're getting the student handbook. Wonderful. Uh, so a student in civil engineering comes in 2023, September. Now, what's this? And he or she has all the details that, uh, oh, what has happened here? Uh, What I suppose is that I pasted the wrong file. So let me go to the end there. Take that off because what you should have is, uh, let's go ahead. Okay, you now let's have the thing as, uh, we, yeah, PSC, civil engineering. So you have all of those ones here. Next thing you do is just format to make the thing look nice. And I'm going to propose something which you may like or not like. 
as uh, the appendix here I will suggest you may not like it but it would be nice for you to put the reviewers for CC mass you know this is a combination of 70% CC mass and 30% institutional addition so we have those that contributed to the institutional addition here look at them here look at them here the physics people but those who did the 30% CC mass uh, I, I think it would be nice to have them list if you don't want to list them in front you can list them towards the end so what does that mean let me show you what it means so this is what i mean this is the you can see list of reviewers uh these people here my suggestion is that you take this along with uh, the AUC reps and then uh, you copy this but they were part of the action, 70% of the action. You copy this and then you paste as the appendix to the student handbook for civil engineering and for the other programs. Yeah, so here we go. You can start on a new page here like this and then paste as appendix. So that's it. So what else? We we'll save this and what you have is this beautiful document edo state university was a bsc civil engineer student handbook 2023 to 2028 so that's it you can put all the other things that you want in there but the important part of it is this where you have bsc civil engineering and give you all the details in one integrated uh, fashion yeah so we are pull finishing touches to produce student handbook and then the next thing is upload the student handbook for the program. You are going to upload to your site, to the university site. And then we're going to show you where you go, You have, uh, I'm going to send a, a message out where we share the link for you to share this handbook, this upload handbook with uh, at the AUC site, which will now be available to the rest of the world. And when the accreditors or the resource verification people are coming to your university they're on the AUC side they can can download this and so you have the bsc civil engineering program uh 70 percent cc mass and 30 percent extra addition already embedded in there edo state university have done well i recall my visit to the university you can see this 22nd of january 2019 i was invited to be part of the launch of the canvas program the canvas software a very robust software for delivering open and distance learning and i must say that this university edo state university uh, is one of the leaders in africa in that area so that, that, that was when i came in there and I gave uh, the lecture and I visited. No wonder you're doing so well in technology. You're also doing very well in medicine. You can see a great university as the vice chancellor there, a very, very seasoned, practical, fast, fast sighted uh, engineer. And you can see the man is very tall. Though. See, the man is very tall. And I'm looking like a dwarf beside him. Good man, good man indeed, good man. So we have done this. The first step is integration. We downloaded the CC mass. We use CC mass as base to integrate the contents level by level. We pull finishing touches to, the, to produce student handbook. And your excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, we have uploaded the student handbook for the program. Ah, we, have not, we have not done this one. But when this one is ready, you upload to your site and they will provide a site, a link to a site that you can upload it. What a happy ending this is. So that's all for now uh, from me, Peter Okibukola. Bye-bye for now.